Welcome to Jobbed Out, the wrestling editorial that reminds you to keep your selfies above the waist. A Town. Down! Let's go! A Town! WWE fans are buzzing after Money in the Bank 2022 saw two new names granted a chance to become top stars. Liv Morgan used her freshly won Money in the Bank briefcase to claim her first women's championship, and on the men's side, Theory, who was added to the main event at the last minute, claimed his own briefcase containing a contract entitling the holder to a guaranteed shot against the champion of his choosing, which I guess right now is Roman Reigns either way. Fans have been pretty upset at Theory's victory for quite a few reasons. One being that he's mostly been portrayed as a Weasley selfie-taking mid-card heel who couldn't even beat a color commentator, let alone hold his own against a top name. Others, like myself, just feel that Theory needs a name change, cause the name Theory doesn't scream Universal Champion. Frankly, Austin Theory sounds like a world champ and a brand ambassador. Theory sounds more like an incomplete Riddle, and Riddle also needs his first name back, but I digress. There is a third and much more serious reason why wrestling fans are rebelling against Theory's recent push. Of course, you saw the title, it's time to bring up Speaking Out again. Speaking Out was a movement in the summer of 2020 meant to bring to light and expose names in the wrestling business that had been accused of sexual misconduct against fans and other wrestling personalities. Some accusations were confirmed to be true, some dismissed as total hoaxes, and we saw a wide range of consequences from stars losing their jobs to lawsuits. WWE star Fury, then still with the name Austin, was accused by a then 15-year-old girl on Twitter of sending lewd images and videos via Snapchat a couple years earlier when the accuser was only 13. The girl, identified only as Tay, claims she met him at a live event and they exchanged contacts. There is evidence of the two being together in the same room, however, Tay stated she did not keep the gross images, and that she was instructed by Theory not to save them so it could be their secret. Of course, with no proof to show that she received this lewd content from Theory, Twitter targeted her hard and she disappeared off the internet. Unfortunately for Theory, a year later in 2021, video would surface of Theory in compromising positions and a lot of footage of him masturbating. While I'm obviously not able to show you the most lewd parts, not that I'd want to, he does in several of these videos show his face. Is this a mean face? I'm sorry. So yeah, it's him. Once again, this surfaced in 2021, after the accusations, not before. Of course, defenders and stands will say, that doesn't prove Theory sent this stuff to an underage fan, to which I have one response. How would she know about them then? This footage surfaced in 2021, a year after an underage girl had come forward saying that he sent her these exact types of videos. And remember, she said he sent her this stuff in 2018. How would a child know about these videos years before evidence came out that they exist if she hadn't already received them? This is not a good look for Theory, nor is it for his on-screen mentor who's currently under investigation for his own $3 million hush money scandal involving a sexual affair with an employee. It also doesn't bode well for the company itself, who've had their fair share of cover-ups and scandals going back decades. But yeah, originally I was going to come into this whole thing a lot more impartial because, again, the initial accuser didn't submit any proof when she made her claim in 2020 during a time when everyone was hopping on to speaking out. It didn't take me long, however, to find evidence that corroborate her claims. Now, will WWE do anything about this? Not unless they have to. And if Fox and USA and the Saudi Prince keep giving them riches and sponsors continue to not pull out, then WWE simply won't have to do anything at all. So, so much for cancel culture, right? Now, this is all just my opinion, though, and I do want to know what you think about the accusations levied against Austin Theory. Are the accusers' claims and leaked videos just a coincidence? Or did everybody dismiss a child begging for help only to forget her claims once the evidence started surfacing? Why haven't there been more people claiming, yeah, Theory sent him pictures of his butthole as well? And do you think the WWE should have acted once there were updates to this situation? Or was business as usual the only way they could not bring attention to the themselves considering all the other legal trouble WWE's in right now. Let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more because I want you to be a part of this conversation too. For now though, I better get my shoulders off the mat so I want to thank you for tuning in to Jobbed Out. I'll catch you next time.